Level up, level up, level up, level up. Hey, bro, little bitch, level up. No, no, you gotta level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Hey, bro, little boy, you gotta level up. And a click I hear that's ahead of us. Drop it now. A lot of artists feel like uh, they don't supposed to invest in themselves, and people just supposed to uh, sign them and change their life, and they they feel like putting your own money up is like not worth it. But I think otherwise, and you living proof of that. That's the other way around. You gotta invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't, bro, I promise you, ain't nobody else gonna believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. So I don't know if it's the audience know. Uh, me and you spent time together in a cell. Well, yeah. I think we were cellmates for probably like a year in federal prison. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, oh, we used to be in the room talking about when we get out, who we'll deal with, who we won't deal with, who yeah. we might sign with. And it's kind of like, nigga, talk this shit up. Like, oh, definitely. Nigga, seeing they future. Oh, yeah. Turk is a powerful name. You know what I'm saying? And like you, you really have to speak shit into existence. They really believe in that shit. You know what I mean? Everything I said I was gonna do in the fed when niggas I bump into like you be like, bro, you really did that shit. You know what I mean? Cause you made a lot of niggas just talking. Cause you gotta think about it. you got niggas from Georgia, uh, Mississippi, New York, California. You know what I'm saying? So you be like, that nigga just talking. He just another nigga that just talking. But you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, for real, for real, bro. Like, that shit still be amazing to me. Um, So, who's some of the people that, that you got songs with that are in the industry right now? Man, I got a song. Man, I got, like, four songs with Finesse two times, you know. I fuck with him heavy. Um, I got a song with Moneybag. A lot of people might not know Zed Zillow. I got, we got, like, four or five tracks with, Boo, with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? We got OG Dre, which is a label mate, you know. Shout out to Master Jewel, which is my artist. We got a collab album called Nation Business. Shit hard. We got we got a track that's finna drop in a couple weeks. By Boo situation, the reason why I pushed this single back exposing came out Friday with Trip Star. They call hard for the nation. Master Star skin Master Jewel featuring Trip Star. Shit hard as fuck too. Yeah, but um Where? man, we got I, I got a lot of tracks Where? with a lot of different people, bro. Like straight up, you know. You know, I'm, I'm like in the area, my area, even, you know, Memphis, like I'm close to Memphis too. Like, nigga, nigga, now ain't hold weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. You know, I keep my face card good. You know what I mean? I can go to any hood, be with anybody, and, you know, I'm going to survive. I'm going to make it, G. For real. Really? How you deal with being, uh, you know, a, a breadwinner, a father? The man of your family, you know, a provider, and, and and when you get into situations, people feel entitlement, like you owe them money, or like you still just take care of them. Or, you know, people start having their hand out of life. How you deal with that, or did you say no easy, or how you deal with entitlement, bro? Like it's like you know, I used to have trouble with that, but now, bro, I be so straight up because I not did, I not did, I not done, I not did. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. When they asked me now, and then they when the when the people who thinking that I owe them something, I was like, bro, I'm gonna tell you something. I went laid down over five years, and then nobody really sent me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I get you didn't owe me nothing. When I got out, you didn't give me nothing. You didn't owe me nothing, but I'm I'm happy. I went and got it on my own. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, so guess what? When somebody said, man, that's what you know, I said, bro, I was locked up over five years. Ain't nobody do nothing for my kids or me or nothing. You know what I mean? Couple homeboys right. in the family. So what do I owe you? You didn't owe me nothing when I got out. You didn't owe me nothing when I did. I, I fixed that bed. I had to lay in. You know what I'm saying? So that more that's mostly how I handle that situation, bro. And you, it's crazy that you say that because like lately I've been having to tell people that a lot. Like you know what I mean? Because they already know how I get out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good nigga, bro. You know I get a nigga the shirt off my back, but when it comes to like when I feel like you're using me, nah, fuck that. We ain't, we ain't gonna do it like that. For real, for real. Real rap. Cause yeah. entitlement is crazy these days. People feel like you work hard and they know for you from school or from the basketball game that you should take care of them or do for them. So that should be hard to deal with. Even if you ain't famous, you just in a street and you get money. Most definitely. If people see you get money, everybody don't have their hand out. And that's one of the things that's hard to deal with.